What's up with my way maker? Just your boy Dave Mama Trail coming back at you with another video. So, as you can see by the title, I made a little purchase. I'm going to be testing out the Fenty Beauty bronzers today. It's kind of crazy because I feel like bronzers have started to been like a talk most most recently. I took my foundation for dark skin, concealers for dark skin, and now I feel like we're starting to kind of get those thanks to Fenty Beauty. And now we're talking about more like bronzers because as always, especially for dark, deep dark skin tones, it's like hard to find bronzers. Excuse me, my voice is a little crickety. I just took a ship to Ulta a few months ago, probably like a month ago, and I went to go look for a bronzer and I only found one bronzer in the whole Sephora that actually would do anything for my skin tone, and it's the one from Anastasia in Mahogany. So I'm going to be comparing it to that today, but I also did pick up a few other products along with the bronzer. I need to put on some concealer. I was running out of concealer and so I decided to try this. Granted Retouch Concealer. This is the packaging. Probably would try this out as well. It's in the shade 430 here, as you can see. So last time I went and I, I was gonna first buy it, but I ended up not getting it. I got the shade 420 is the shade she thought it would, be, it would be, but it was a little too yellow. So I got 430, it's a little more cool tone. I'm gonna do a comparison of my favorite products with these products just to see how they do. So this is my favorite concealer here. As you see, I'm running out. It's the Maybelline Asia, it's an Asia One Concealer in the shade Hazelnut. And this is the color that it is here. It's probably a little washed out from the lights. It's a perfect highlight shade for me and everything. So we want to see what 430 looks like. So watch to that. Okay, that's pretty close. Uh, as you can see, that looks like it's way more full coverage. And the camera does seem like this is a bit warmer than the Maybelline, but it's pretty close, pretty close in color match. So I think that's gonna be a pretty good match. So let me stop talking. Let me shut the fuck up. Girl, shut the fuck up. And try it all. Okay, this is a pretty good color. It's thick. Ooh, she's thick. It's very thick, wow. I'm not gonna put too much because it's pretty thick, so it might spread pretty well. I always have a hard time finding concealers because a lot of concealers that people really like don't work for me because I have dry under eyes. I don't like for my concealer to be dry. So that's why I don't like the Makeup Revolution concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape concealer, the e.l.f. concealer, all is too dry. So that's why you'll never see it on my channel. It feels pretty creamy um, as a first hit, touch. Watch my hand, it's pretty thick. So we're gonna just go ahead and blend this out. I'm gonna start with my forehead first. See how it blends into this foundation. Oh, I'm sorry, I use my favorite foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible. And I use the black opal front contour stick to contour. And then I go to my chin. Okay, it's actually blending out pretty well. I like to blend my concealer pretty fast, sorry. But it's blending out pretty well. I'm gonna let it sit for a few more seconds up under my eyes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out this under eye. Start from the bottom here. Ooh. Oh yeah. So I have that all blended out and looking in the monitor. And let me open up my little compact. Looking in the mirror. It's a nice concealer. It's not drying at all. Like it's very hydrating in front of the eye, but it's also very full coverage. How they did that, I have no idea. I'm really liking this. So I'm gonna see how it does with my setting powder. I'm gonna just take my fluffy brush and my Too Faced powder and just set up under the eye. Okay, and this is how I like to contour my nose. Just take the extra. That's on the sponge. I like to push it together on this. Go down and bridge my nose. Just to add some shape. I don't like to use a whole bunch of concealer on a bridge of my nose. See, so just nice and add a little contour. So now what you all have actually came here for, which is the bronzer. This is the packaging, beautiful packaging. Fenty always kills the packaging name, as you can see. Okay, I'll take this out of the box and then talk a little about this bronzer. I have the shade Mocha Miami. It's the darkest shade. The shade before this was way too light for me. And this shade, I don't know, it's it's kind of like, honestly, I was, wow. Okay, hold up, before, <laughs> before I start talking shit, look at this packaging of this bronzer. 
look at how reflective that is. Like, what? Ugh, that is beautiful packaging. Okay. We know Fenty to be the all-inclusive brand. Fenty is an error. There was pre-Fenty when there was barely any shades for the, for dark skin. There were, I mean, there were a few, but and then there's posts where it's like if you come up with a shade range that's not gradient across the board, you're canceled. I'm a little disappointed when I walk into the Sephora and I look at the display and I just skip past all of the shades and with the dark swung that would be the only shade that would work for me, but it wouldn't work for anybody that's darker than me. Um, this bronzer, bronzer from Anastasia in the shade Mahogany, it's the only one that actually worked for me and I actually really, really like it. It actually looks really good on my skin. So, I just need like two shades darker. If Prime Beauty can do it, Fenty Beauty should have done it. Yeah, eight shades is nice, but I feel like maybe about two of them shades in the middle could have could have waited and then added like at least about two more darker, two more darker because I feel like bronzers is becoming a thing now and I feel like Fenty should have been the ones, if they were gonna come out with bronzers, they should have been the ones to have a shade that could fit everybody. From this picture right here, you know, it seems like, okay, it may be, because you know, pictures can be deceiving. It may be, you know, a nice across the board. But then when I go to the store, I see this right here, which is the promo picture they have now in the slide. Now, I was expecting a little bit better from Fenty. It is a pretty dark shade. It is a pretty dark shade. I just don't think it'll work for like somebody, my boyfriend is a little bit darker. It's a few shades darker than me. I don't feel like it'll work for him or for instance, like Nima Tang. I don't feel like it'll work for her. I'm talking mess. Let's see, let's see how it does. Those are already the beautiful Fenty Beauty packaging. It has a nice mirror. There's a nice mirror here. And then we have the bronzer here. So that's a pretty rich, pretty rich shade actually when I actually look at it. I'm actually compare it to my Anastasia. It definitely is different on the tone. This one, this one is a, definitely a lot more reddish brown than this one is. And that's like a seem like it's darker. So I'm gonna swatch them both on my hands actually first. I'm gonna start with Anastasia because I already know her and love her. Swatch it here. So that's the bronzer from Anastasia. And now I'm gonna go into the Fenty Beauty bronzer. See, that's pretty close to my skin tone. Okay, it definitely does seem like it's darker than the than the Anastasia, but it's just a different undertone. So I don't know if I can say that it's darker. I'm gonna just apply it to my face. I know how my Anastasia one works and how it looks on my skin. So I'm gonna go into the Fenty. Oh, that's phenomenal. Oh, that's a bronze. That's some melanin. That's melanin, that's what that is. What to call that? Melanin. That's that's what that is. That's melanin. That's that's a good bronzer. Yep. So this is the bronzed side of my face, and this is the unbronzed side of my face. You can see the difference. Much warmer. That was me eating my words because that's that's a that's a bronzer right there. Wowzers. <laughs> Shit. Yep, I'm lost for words. That's a nice bronzer, but it still is just barely deep enough to bronze my skin. Like, even these swatches, it does seem like it's darker than the Anastasia bronzer, but I feel like it's just a different undertone. Like it's just a much more red undertone. I'm not saying that which one that one is better than the other because I actually like both of these a lot, but I'm feeling how my face looks with this uh with this Fenty. I'm gonna actually um let my boyfriend try it and see if it will actually bronze his skin some so put it like in the description box and to give you guys an update. I just ate my words. Let me stop carrying. We also have one more thing from Fenty. I got this little duo here. It was actually pretty cheap. It comes with like a mini gloss balm and a mini highlighter. Original gloss balm and Hustler Baby. Packaging is always nice with Fenty. Wow, even this, like it's not like regular plastic. It's like a velvet. Yeah, I like, I like that. This is what the highlighter looks like. This is the shade here. We've all seen Fenty's highlighters. I've never used them before. This is my first time using Fenty at all, actually. Oh, bitch. I 
I've been speechless. I haven't even I've, I haven't even talked this whole video because I'm speechless at these at these products. Why is that so good? Oh my Jesus! Wow. Okay. So let me move on because I'll be stuck here all day. So I'm gonna do my lip. I can't find my brown liner, so I'm gonna take this liner um here in Night Shift by Drop Cosmetics. I'm gonna just blend that in some. I'm gonna take a little bit of this chapstick. I'm going to break open the Anastasia Rivera palette. I'm going to in the shade here, Palm. It's a brown shade. I'm going to put that right on top. So you see that it turns to a more brown nude shade. We're going to use the infamous little gloss bomb here. I never use gloss. I was like a matte lip, but I'm going to try it today. Oh, that's... Pretty. Okay, so that is all the products that we use from Fenty today. I'm gonna do my low lash line really quick just to finish off the makeup look and then we'll be right back to get my final thoughts. Okay, so I've done some of my inner corners and my lower lash line. I had to get it out of the way. If you wanna see how I got this eye look, my next video after this, I use the Rivera palette. Um, um, I did three looks with using this palette. I'm gonna be uploading that within the next like, couple days. But let's talk about these products that we use today. We're gonna start with the banger of today, which is this bronzer. Uh, it's an amazing bronzer. As you can see, I I love it. Um, it's my bronzer brush. I really wanna take some more. I really like this bronzer. It works really well for my skin tone. It works really well for my skin tone. Like I said, I'm gonna get my boyfriend to try it to see if he likes the, if the shade will show up on him. I'll let you guys know that in either the comments or the description box. So go ahead and read down there. The bronzer is a banger. Everything that I've tried today is actually a banger. Sealer, a banger. It's a banger. Like it's, it brightened up my eyes. It's nice and full coverage. I always get lines of burning my eyes. Like that's just how my under eyes do but they don't look dry they don't look caked they and our little duo which came with the hustler baby highlighter and the fancy gloss bomb first of all the packaging on all of these products is amazing like even the fact that this comes with this like pink velvet situation and i always say that i never really care for packaging but when you get some nice packaging you like so this is what people like packaging <laughs> this is why people like packaging because it's, it's nice it makes you want to try a lot of other fenty beauty products because these products were really nice i'm really looking at my face look oh the gloss bomb i don't like gloss as i was filming this outro i'm really liking the gloss gloss situation so this may have just made me like a gloss believer all of these things have gotten an A plus for me. The bronzer is amazing, but I do stand by what I said. The bronzer needs to come in a like at in a couple shades darker. Um, it's Fenty Beauty. If you want to spend some coin, you might want to go ahead and give you some uh, what's it called? Sun Stalker, some Sun Stalker bronzer because it's it's a nice a nice bronze on my face right now. But let me say this on myself. I did this a little bit. Just give you a darker shade though. Just give me a darker shade. And we'll be alright. You know, it's Fenty Rihanna. I'm pretty sure she's, she's going to come out with darker shades. They always add to their shade ranges. So, I will be definitely looking forward to seeing that. So, if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment. Tell me if you decided to go pick up the bronzer. If they have a shade for you, let me know in the comments. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So, you're notified of all my future uploads. Um, wow. All that YouTuber talk. That's all for today. And I'll see you in my next video.